Hi folks, I'm Rebecca, and this is an episode of How It's Done in Hypernatural. Today, we're talking about one of the most frequently asked questions in Hypernatural, which is, how do I get the characters to look more like me, or more like what I want the characters to look like? So there's a couple of ways to do this. The first is, after you've generated a clip, you can go in and edit the prompt guidance for each of the images that are generated for each scene. So we come up with a couple of different suggestions for what we should generate for this scene. The woman went to the store. Um, and maybe one of those is actually the right guidance for you. But if not, what you can do is you can copy that text, paste it in, enter your own. Here you could actually put any sort of prompt you want, but maybe we like the idea of what this one is starting with. And then you could go back and adjust the guidance right from there. So maybe I want it to look a little bit more like me. I'm going to try to describe myself. Not wearing a ponytail today. And then we just click Generate. So I'm using the Excel model, which gives me more detail and higher quality images. But if I just wanted a really quick version, I could do it without that. And so there you go. You see, it looks a little bit more like me, got my hair color, got my glasses. And so maybe we like this image. We could replace the scene with it. Maybe that one didn't quite hit. In that case, we can press the generate button as many times as we need in order to get images that look a little closer to the style that we're looking for. So the cool thing is this new image guidance will stick even if we regenerate in a different style. So let's try regenerating in Wes Anderson style. It's just going to take a minute. And here you go. We still got a curly haired woman with glasses here, but she's now in a different style. But you don't just have to change one frame at a time. Let's go back to the clip creation process. So here I am creating another clip from the same script. This would be the same process that you follow if you're creating a clip from scratch as well. Now, instead of choosing a particular preset style, I'm going to go into custom. And you can see I've already filled this in with some details of how I want the people who are generated to look. This is what we call custom styles. One thing to note is that custom styles overwrite whatever other style guidance you were using with a particular uh, preset style. And so, that's why it's helpful to not just include details about how you want the individual people to look, but also include details about what style you want the images to be generated in, whether that's in a retro style, a photographic style, an artistic style. And so now let's go through and we'll just regenerate the video. Maybe I'll pick the same options. And so now you can see that we have a much higher hit rate of getting people who look at least a little more like the guidance that I set. We probably still have a little more work to do with hair color, uh, but we're getting there. So that's how you generate videos that align more closely with. So that's all for today. Please reach out if you have any questions or if there's a different topic you want me to cover next time.